Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you're all well today. And so today we're going to have a quick look at the Hawk Vantage 10x42 binoculars. And this is the latest version, but before we come on to those, let's just have a quick look at what you get with it. What you get is the standard hard case, hard box, that you get with with most Hawk products now and I've not got it with me at the moment but it also comes with an extra cardboard box a thin one that comes over the top of this I'll explain about that more shortly you get the usual drop down or removable objective lens caps and the all-in-one for the eyepiece despite these being a budget set of binoculars to around about £139 you still get the padded neck strap. You also get a nice little booklet which is specifically for these binoculars and there's a nice feature inside there that shows you how to put on a uh, binocular strap, how to loop it through. Inside here in the cardboard box you have a uh, cleaning cloth. I haven't uh, broke the seal to test it yet. You, As it's a lower, set, lower cost set of binoculars you get a standard nylon case with a strap no belt loop but it does come with a, a shoulder or neck strap and inside that the binoculars are actually inside this nice little pouch here and a nice little feature there so are you spotting something or the lack of it and um, I'm wondering if it's something that Hawk are going to introduce more with their latest products there is no plastic bag included in the packaging there is no plastic bag to put the outer box in no plastic bag for the case no plastic bag to put around these you get a, a cloth instead no plastic bags at all in the packaging and hopefully this is something that Hawk are going to, going to introduce but I will confirm that when I know about it more so why am I looking at the Vantage 10x42 version first well it's when normally I go for the eight times because they give the slightly brighter image. To be honest, the the previous version of the Vantage binoculars, the eight times twenty five were superb for the for the money. So good they actually give a brighter image, I thought, than the forty two millimeter models. And in particular, the older version of this, I was a little bit disappointed with the contrast and brightness of the image. No such problem with this upgrade. Uh, I had been told that they had massively upgraded the op the optics, so you get multi-coated optics with these, and instead of BK7 prisms with the previous model, you now get BAK4, and the image through these has been transformed. Let's be fair, these are not the Endurance EDs, which are £100 more, so let's be realistic with the quality of the view you get. So a little rundown of the specs. These are very lightweight at 550 grams and um, that's because they're a polycarbonate body. You've got twist eye cups which I'll come on to in a second. Close focus of about two and a half meters. I found it slightly less than that actually. Field of view 101 meters at a thousand and 16 millimeters eye relief. So quite often with binoculars in this price range you lose out on a few things. You might find that some of them have got a close focus of maybe four meters or five meters these are two and a half but I found it to be around about two nice smooth focus wheel no weak or tight spots there at all and also good to see 16 millimeters eye relief on a, on a set in this price range and I found I could just with the eye cups down get the full field of view so let's do the usual test eye cup out Twist out and it's one, two, three positions. Very nice clicks there. So try to push it back in without twisting them. They are solid. Very nice. Halfway. Yet, yeah. yet yeah. staying very nicely in place. I found with when I wasn't wearing glasses, one click in and that gave a lovely full field of view and uh, I could detect no internal reflection at all and that really does help with the contrast. So mentioned 550 grams polycarbonate body don't let that put you off lots of binoculars have polycarbonate bodies nowadays and extremely extremely lightweight and easy to handle. On the underside you've got these nice little thumb grips here these little indentations 
which really do help to the uh, make them handle much better. And as I have to mention, the little connectors there for the strap, they don't dig into your hand at all. They, they your hands don't touch them. Uh, was quickly mentioning the eye cups. They're not maybe the the softest eye cups in the world, but but then again, maybe they're just keeping the cost down a little bit with the materials. But that by by all means, they do not dig into your eyes. They're they're very similar to some of the um, the Viking. Uh, is it? Uh, one of the, one of their models that has uh, similar eye cups to these, but anyway, for the price, you can't really grumble. So, what is the view like through these? Very pleasant compared to the last model. It really is a, a different in a different league. It, they've really pulled out all the stops with a binocular in this price range. Lovely, good contrast, nice bright colours. Uh, yes, again, re repeating the price that they're, they're well below 150 pounds. And so, looking at very, very high contrast subjects, there is some evident uh, purple colour fringing around branches, uh, looking at the wildlife, if it's heavily backlit. And looking at lower contrast subjects, that goes down significantly. It's one of those things that if I didn't mention it, you might not even notice it with uh, lower uh, contrast uh, subjects that are not heavily backlit. Looking at the pink cussing distortion, Again, there is just a little bit, but within this price range, you can't really grumble. Uh, I've mentioned the chromatic aberration. Uh, the edge of field quality, it, it only really goes off a lot on the outer 5%, and that, that is amazing for a binocular, again, in, in this price range. The field of view, 101 metres at 1,000, so around about par. I believe the apparent field of view with these is 56 degrees rather than maybe the 60 degrees of the higher price ones. But again, it certainly does not look like a narrow field of view when you're looking through them. One thing I did find out about these is that uh, very good for plane spotting. As I was just testing these out, one, one went over, I'm guessing at the usual 30,000 feet or so. And fantastic for plane spotting these. Okay, the, not 12 times magnification, but the lightweight makes these incredibly easy to handhold. Where with some binoculars, maybe weighing 650 grams, holding them at 10 times magnification, you might get a little bit of shake. No, no such problem with these. Very, very good. Uh, they are still nitrogen gas filled, and unlike some brands that with the lower cost binoculars that they reduce the warranty with these you still get a lifetime uh, warranty with these and all the details will be in the box for you to read when you get them so that, that's a quick look at the Hawk Vantage 10 times 42 binoculars and I'm pleased to say they are a massive massive improvement on the previous model and I can see these being extremely popular so as always thank you very much for watching I hope this helps and please check out the link in the description below where you can help support our channel by purchasing from our website. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.